Okay, what we have here is uh, a Dell Inspiron uh, 14, model 14 with Windows 7. And I ran into a particular problem with this computer, so I'm putting the, the I'm reinstalling Windows 7 on here, home premium 64 bit. So um, if you run into this particular memory error uh, or uh, error when you're installing Windows, it's because um, your system is not um, uh, you 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 have bad memory on here. So let me just show you what the error looks like, so you kind of can see the. Uh, so you boot up to the CD, uh, and what you're gonna do is let's say you boot up to it and you're trying to partition the the system and you get an error. Uh, the error might change, but it's telling you it's kind of misleading because it's telling you that a file can't be copied to the to the hard drive. Corruption has occurred, but it's really the the memory that's causing the issue. Uh, but uh, let's just we're gonna show you what what it does right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pause it. Okay, what you're going to do now is you're going to see the starting windows. I know everybody's probably seen this a million times uh, when they install windows, but I just want to show you guys what uh, the steps and what <clears throat> what the error looks like. Um, I guess seeing is believing. To the language selection here, we're in America, so we select English. And then you do is click next. And what we're going to do is we're going to do install now. So it's set up is starting, so we we'll wait for the next menu screen to appear. Okay, here we want to agree to the license terms and we we'll select next and the upgrade is uh, so usually disabled so here we're going to go custom and what we're going to do here is we're going to do drive options uh, you can delete the partition and recreate it we're just going to do format click OK <clears throat> and then when it's, once it formats it it's going to say 596 gigs free we click next and notice it's going to start doing the windows files copying file expanding files usually at this stage is actually working on the hard drive but uh, what's going to happen here is going to error out and tell you that couldn't, the files couldn't be found or there's a corruption in the files so um, let's wait for that error to come up And what we're going to do is we're going to stop recording uh, until we get that error. Okay. Um, notice how you says set up error, uh, corrupt file. See how it says this? All this? That's your actually, that's the memory that's doing that. See, this is what you're, you might get this, you might get that other uh, pop up and it gives you an error code. Um, if you cross reference that code, it's probably going to come back with a memory uh, address error. Uh, but that's one of your memory sticks that's bad. So this thing tells you Windows cannot install required files. Make sure all files required for installation are available. And restart the installation. Error code 0x8000 uh, 8, and 4Fs. That's not really a valid error. It's not your CD. It's not Windows. It's your memory. Uh, one of your memory cards is bad. Maybe memory sticks. So what you want to do is you want to take one out and then uh, reinstall it. So in this case, you just click OK, um, and then I'm going to show you the one that's bad in this computer. So you kind of, hopefully, it'll help somebody that's having the same problem. So notice how it gives you that. Uh, so click OK. So it's going to tell you Windows the installation was canceled. That's because we canceled. We can't get any further than that because of the 
the memory error. In this case, what you can do since there's no activities waiting for something to happen, what you can do is you can just power it off, press the power button on here, and then disconnect the power. And this one, what we did was we already uh, took out the memory cover from here. So this is your memory. Um, and in this particular machine, this is the one that's bad. So we just took that one out. And that, uh, so what you can do is you can take the bad memory out. Or if you have two, if you don't know which one it is, take one out and then uh, leave the other one in. And then turn the turn the computer on and start the process again to install Windows 7 on it and in that case it's gonna go right go without a problem it's gonna run through so uh, if you have any questions uh, subscribe to our channel and post your question uh, if it's if, it, if you get in a particular error you can google it and it should tell you where to uh, what the cause of it is but in this case it's not the drive it's not your CD it is uh, bad memory okay so um, until next time so hopefully you enjoy this video and it helps you out if it helps you out as well you can post that on, on there and uh, we'll, we'll uh, approve the, the comment okay okay here we have um, we already installed the, the software on this computer if you notice this is the one that was actually error, uh, giving those uh, memory errors um, uh, but during the installation of the computer okay now we have installed the uh, Windows 7 on this computer so if you notice now if we go into properties it shows you the the Dell uh, logo under the system rating and if you go down here it says Windows has been activated so this is just the system that if you use the actual CD that came with the computer um, to reinstall the operating system it's gonna be uh, running a lot faster and again don't um, don't get confused and thinking that the drive is bad, the hard drive is bad when it's really the memory the memory chip that's bad. So try taking one of them out first uh, and you can also look at the error. But uh, hopefully this helps people out there. Alright.